Hi, I'm Tom Anderson, Senior BlackBerry Developer Evangelist with Research in Motion. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to deploy your BlackBerry 10 applications to a live device, in this case a Dev Alpha B device, using the command line. It's actually a fairly simple process. We'll only need a few things. We'll need one of the SDKs, either the WebWorks SDK or the native SDK. We'll need your completed application. You'll need to have signing keys because in order to deploy your application to a live device, you need to either sign the application or create a debug token on the device. In this example, we're going to use the debug token on the device. So let's go ahead and start with the debug token. What I've got here is I've got a command window loaded up. And the command window is in my, in this case, WebWorks SDK main directory. But then I've navigated down to the dependencies, tools, and bin directory. Now, if this directory is already in your path, you won't need to make the navigation. But since it's not in my path, I do need to navigate down. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to create the debug token. In order to create the debug token, I'm going to use a command here, or a, a, a script, we're just going to go ahead and paste a line in, called BlackBerry Debug Token Request. Now what this does is this creates the debug token from my signed keys. So you'll notice there's a store password, which I've blacked out. The device pin, so the pin of the actual device. Debug tokens are specific for devices. And where I want this debug token to be. I go ahead and enter, and in a couple of seconds, it creates my debug token. Perfect. Now I've got the debug token. Now I need to get it on my device. So let's pop over and take a look at our live device. So here I've got a BlackBerry Dev Alpha B device. And the first thing we need to do is put it into development mode. So we're going to slide down from the top to bring down the menu and click settings. Once the setting comes up, we're going to click on security and privacy. And down here at the bottom, we see development mode. I'll click on development mode. All I need to do is click the on button. It asks me for a password. I'm going to type in a password. And press OK. The device blinks, gives me the red light, telling me I'm in development mode. However, I still don't have the debug token there. For that, we need to go back to the computer, and now we need to deploy the debug token. We're going to do this using a command called BlackBerry Deploy. BlackBerry Deploy takes the install debug token parameter, a file name to the debug, fully qualified path to the debug token, the IP of the device, which we get from the development mode, and the password I put in the device. I go ahead and hit enter, and it goes off and installs the debug token. Now, if we take a look back at the device, you'll notice the remove debug token button is no longer grayed out. That means our debug token is now installed on the device. And now, we're ready to install our application. So back over here to our, uh, to our command line window. Now what we want to do is we want to simply use the same BlackBerry deploy script, but this time we're going to deploy the application. In this case, I'm going to be using one of the examples from the NDK samples out on GitHub. And I'm going to deploy the Lightning Crossfade app. So notice we're using BlackBerry slash deploy, but this time instead of install debug token, we're using install app. The password is the password we've put on the device, the device IT, IP, and the package. In this case, I've got it at lightning crossfade QML slash bar. Okay, that's all we have to do. We go ahead and hit enter, sending info request, install, processing, and success. If we take a look over on the device, we see that the Crossfade app is in fact on our device. And if we click, up it comes. And here we can see that we can use the Crossfade device. It's been installed on our application. Again, we needed to have this application either signed or 
it needed to use a debug token. In this case, we use the debug token. Here are the steps we took to load the debug token. First, we use BlackBerry debug token request to create the debug token. Then we set the device into developer mode and we use BlackBerry deploy to install the debug token. From there, we use the BlackBerry deploy with the install app parameter to be able to install the app onto our device. And that's all there is to it. Our application is now on our device, ready to be tested. I'm Tom Anderson, Senior BlackBerry Developer Evangelist with Research in Motion, and we'll talk again.